Kino is a big, big lender uh, to business and to consumers in Papua New Guinea. I think your loan book is something like 1.6 billion Kina you have in, in lending at the moment. So it would be interesting to get a sense of the lending environment uh, from you at the moment. How is demand for lending right now and what sorts of lending requests are you receiving? So the world is experiencing the most challenging conditions we've ever seen, um, at least in our lifetime. And that pretty much has changed the landscape of, of everything, socioeconomic hmm. um, and lending included. As we all know, you know, PNG wasn't shielded from the, the COVID-19 pandemic. We saw the government impose restrictions um, across the country for a period, among other things. This resulted in, you know, the closure of schools and businesses that were not classified as critical. Um, there were restrictions to public transportation, logistics, accommodation, um, and the list goes on. And so the impact of this on the lending landscape from a Kina Bank perspective, um, I think was twofold. Firstly, we started, we were seeing the lending environment shift from funding growth to providing relief for existing customers, both in retail and business. And what this meant was that banks supported its existing customers impacted by the pandemic through loan repayment relief arrangements. Um, we also reduced interest rates by 2% uh, for working capital facilities or overdrafts um, to help support customers as well, uh, particularly in the business space. Um, and from a home lending or mortgages perspective, we uh, repriced interest rates for home loans and interest uh, investment property loans, sorry, um, to 6.95% and 7.95% respectfully, uh, respectively. So the bank took a duty of care approach to support its customers um, that were adversely impacted from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. The other thing we, we saw um, was that customers who weren't impacted by the pandemic uh, pick up opportunities to redirect cash flow used to service a lease, for example, to build or purchase um, property to own uh, and or to occupy. These customers obviously um, would have gone through the normal banks, uh, banks normal credit assessment process, and that translated to the lending book growth that we saw in, in 2020. This is actually projected to grow further this year. And then in terms of trends, so our view is, um, you know, we've seen little to little change to the net demand for lending um, in the last uh, 12, 18 months, at least. Um, having said that, we've seen, we've had a flattening of requests for investment property loans off the back of, you know, rental vacancies, for example. On the flip side, uh, we saw a demand for increase in owner occupation or owner occupied home loans um through new purchases and uh, refinance of home loans from other banks which we allowed where we allowed debt consolidation to occur as well so it was a bit of a mixed bag mm -hmm. um and this feature was also um seen across the business segment as well so what kind of things are, and what size of loans to, are, are businesses coming to you looking to finance so they're not as, um, that's a good question. So they're not as, as, as sizable um, in the, in the, across the, the, the various segments that we do look after. Um, we do have, however, have seen um, a number of customers come to us, particularly the larger players who weren't impacted by the pandemic, um, such as the, you know, hardware, um, wholesalers, retailers, retail traders. Uh, who, you know, did did uh, apply cash flow towards um, rental of uh, from third party facilities to diverting that cash through to a, a asset that they would o occupy. Um, so, yeah, we, we were looking at, you know, loan sizes between we were looking at loan size sizes between, you know, a few hundreds of thousands to um, even in the millions. And then in the property space, um, the ticket size is, is generally at about, you know, 
300 to between 300 and 500 thousand for um, a deal. So what sort of advice would you be uh, giving to businesses right now if they are seeking to borrow money, especially if they're a small or medium sized business? There are a couple of things I'd encourage um, SMEs to do. Uh, and the first thing would be to revisit their business model, um, assess their current financial position, um, identify you know current and emerging risks that they they face, and work out what they need to do to continue largely to exist um, and to sustainably grow um, at some point. Um, I think this needs to be reviewed uh, quite frequently. Uh, under the the current situation that everyone's pretty much experiencing, and this could mean developing you know other revenue streams, resizing um, their business, uh, redirect, redirecting resources, to name a few. Um, I'd also recommend that they engage, or these SMEs in particular, engage um, professional service providers. Um, such as accountants or ICT specialists who can help with these reviews because it does go a long way when customers do approach the bank um, to provide assistance. And then what I'd also uh, suggest is for, you know, if there is a funding requirement, um, the SMEs need to establish whether they can afford to service debt and right. continue to operate obviously. Um, and finally, what I'd encourage SMEs to do is to engage their banker um, to discuss options that may, they may want to consider and also obtain clarity or full visibility of, of costs associated with borrowing. Because I believe this is um, one of the real pain points for customers who do approach mm -hmm. banks for assistance. Uh, what is Keener's value proposition when you compare yourself to your competitor? What do you, how are you trying to grow that that share of the pie? So our approach is uh, to showing uh, to growing. Sorry, our, our market share in lending is, is really to make our relationships stickier. Um, right. And so outside of our, our lending offering um, and the customer experience, which is critical for us, I must admit we have some way to go in in that respect. We also offer um, banking solutions, other banking solutions to customers um, in the retail or the personal space. For example, we provide um, account, new account opening um, through our website. So there is an online um, application process that customers can um, use, use to, to set up accounts for themselves and then the, the traditional means through the branch network. Uh, we recently launched uh, our fee-free transactional account last month called Kina Every Day, which has no FBOS fees, uh, no monthly maintenance fees, and has a minimum opening balance of, of 10 Kina. From a relationship perspective, um, we have an offering called Prime uh, to all our home loan customers. These customers um, We'll have a dedicated relationship advisor. It's not something that we um, provided uh, previously. So this came into the market um, just recently, mm -hmm. uh, where these relationship advisors help personal customers with their with their own banking needs uh, without having to actually visit a branch and, and queue up. And um, so what we're trying to do is eliminate all that waiting time and the customer experience and, and look at elevating that as well. I guess one of the other things that businesses these days are looking to do more is to get online uh, with their business. So you might provide a loan to them, but then uh, I imagine also there's a lot of interest now in e-commerce and, and things like that. We have the internet banking, uh, internet payment gateway, which facilitates online payment options uh, for service providers to accept, you know, schemes, cards. And more recently, we um, uh, launched uh, tra transacting on non-scheme cards um, through this portal as well. Our online banking platform uh, was recently upgraded uh, with a new look and feel, uh, but it was in a much uh, more user-friendly and intuitive in environment with new features um, that were recently upgraded to include, you know, salary payments, uh, payments scheduling, and and um, local and, and international uh, payments as well. And I think also there might be a business visa card coming coming from Kina soon, is that right? 
we're looking at a um, a developing an, an SME solution that is tailored specifically to to the banking needs of small businesses, and that one right. of those um, yeah offerings is is the P, uh, the SME license visa card. So what this will also do is provide businesses with access to um, making payments um, online uh, as well. So that's something to to look out for.